Congestion is one of those things that can cause a lot of stress for drivers. While at Hub is now out with its list of best and worst states to drive in, congestion is just one of the factors under consideration. Let me ask you this. Where would you think that the four of you, well, the three of you, where would you think Minnesota would, would land on this list? Like of state, best state for right. drivers? best state for drivers. Where would you say Minnesota lands on this list? Well, the hour we drive, I'd put it right at the top. I mean, right, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, I put it high up too. I, I think things are pretty good around here. I mean, if you've ever been to Atlanta or LA Ooh, or, oh my or Washington, D.C. or Seattle, ballgame. like we're not even close to that. Okay, yeah. so first off, Minnesota ranks 25th on this mm -hmm. list, which surprised me. Yeah. You just mentioned Atlanta. Atlanta ranks, excuse me, Georgia ranks second on this list when for it comes good drive, for, for, for good states for to drive good in? For good states to drive in. That's because Atlanta, well, I should say Georgia, I keep saying Atlanta. Yeah. Georgia actually has stricter DUI laws mm. and oh, they crack down on that, which is one of the factors that they look in. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's not just traffic. traffic. Yeah, not there. just traffic. Mm -hmm. The number one state, Iowa. Our neighbors to the south. Our neighbors wow. to the south. Now let's be real. How often are you gonna get stuck in traffic in Iowa? True. I mean, the, your, your drive's not gonna be no no True. disrespect to Iowa no. at all, but no. rural state feels like there's a little disrespect. But I'm just. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Hawkeyes. I'm a Gopher. I'm just let's just get that straight. But I love Iowa nonetheless. Um, but also, I think another thing they look at is uh, cost. Yeah. Of a car. Factors, cost of owning a car. Cost of ownership. So the factors were cost of ownership, traffic infrastructure. Uh, they also looked at safety and then access to vehicles. When they say access to vehicles, they're saying how many car dealerships are in your state, how many auto repair shops are in your state, alternative fuel stations. So those are some of the things that they look at there. And Lisa, one of the things they look at is number of icy days. Mm. You know, okay. and on a day like today, with all that fog, we saw some of those roads ice over. Uh, driving in today, actually, it was a little slick on the side road. So was it? You would think probably out of all the states, you know, we would be kind of up there. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to the precipitation issues, I have to say, I'm from the Chicagoland area. I moved here, I'm like, okay, they get a lot more snow, bad snow state. On the ball, Minnesota, you know, I was so surprised. I mean, you get a snowstorm overnight, they scoop it up and yeah. it's out. So, they don't play. I mean, we do yeah. a good mm -hmm. job. Yeah. yeah, they do a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that, so rush hour traffic infrastructure, rush hour congestion, mm -hmm. days of precip, uh, yeah. Icy dates, which we talked about, and also road bridge quality. I think this may be where Minnesota fell possibly because we do get so much snow. Yeah. It messes with our roads, that freezing and thawing mm -hmm. all the time. Think about the potholes that right. we get year after year. Now, we haven't That's had it this year because we haven't had the snow, mm -hmm. but typically we have a lot of potholes on our roads because of that freezing thawing all the time. Yeah, right. good point. Yeah, and the other thing too, one of the things they look at here is access to alternative fuel stations. So we here in Minnesota, we are working towards yeah. you know the EV chargers. We're not there yet though. Ooh. I mean, mm -hmm. we're not even close to I mean, being there we, yet. We've talked about that. There's yeah. this this push to get them installed along the interstate, so yeah. we still got a ways to go there. Okay, well, that makes a little more sense.